Welcome back to Magic Tarot Cards. It's Jasmine. I have a six card spread here for you. This is going to be from a subscriber request. They requested me to do a video on a woman. It's a cold case and it was a woman that got killed at a church in Texas about maybe three, four years ago. Never heard of it. And even though I live in Texas, I never heard of it. Um, her name was Missy Beavers, and she was murdered at a church, at her church, okay? So I got the request from a person that asked for it. Um, they wanted to know what really happened, so I decided I was going to tap into her energy and see if I can get any information, and I meditated at least 30 minutes. I shuffled a whole bunch of times, and this is what popped out. The cards went really, really wild as I was shuffling. I felt like I was picking up a whole lot of energy, and I have a whole lot of information to give you. Um, I'm trying really hard not to lose this information because it's rushing in, so I'm going to get started with the reading. All right, so never heard of the case. Just to let you know, never heard of it. I haven't looked at it or anything. I just looked at the request and decided to do it. Okay, so for the first one, we got the tower. Okay, as we all know, the tower is the unexpected event. So this was an unexpected event for her to get killed. She was murdered at a church. Um, that's the only thing I know. I, that's the only thing I know from the subscriber is that she was murdered at a church. Um, what I'm getting from this card is that, of course, it was unexpected for everyone, for the whole town. I think it was a small town in Texas. Um, she was a member of the church, and also she was doing some type of class there. Okay, it was early, early in the morning. Um, and what happened to her was unexpected for her and unexpected for the whole town. Unexpected for the church, that it happened in a church. People were disappointed because it happened in a church. I'm going to move on from this one, and I'm going to come back to it, because this is what's really important here. Okay. So this is the the Eight of Wands. In the upright, it means love rushing in, a great new beginning with love rushing in. But something went wrong here, okay? Right here, it shows no more love, a loss of a love. I'm feeling that this was between her and her husband. I'm feeling that if she was married, because I feel like she was married. Like I said, I have not looked at this case. But I feel like this is between her and her husband, that there was some kind of love loss, that she, um they lost their love because of something. Maybe one of them um, cheated. Maybe there was some infidelity. Something was going on in that marriage where there was a love loss. This person that was cheated on was in very deep thought. Here's the blue surrounding the wands. Very deep thought. When the, the when these wands are upside down, there means there's no more movement in that relationship, no more movement in that um, love and those feelings, those emotional feelings, there's no more movement there. When this card comes up, there's actually a lot of anger. Okay, there's anger between one of the, the persons. Um, their feelings get out of control. Um, yeah. Um, I'm hearing that they jump to conclusions and they force their hands to they force their hand to make the other person either love them or make them do what they want to do even if the other person is against it they have unruly emotions uh, that, that they can't control uh, they has, they feel a lot of apprehensive apprehensive and insecure feelings is what i'm hearing so something between them happened that made one of them feel this way and I'm gathering it's more the husband than her um, I'm hearing the rumors rumors that one of them was having an affair or could be true could not be true we'll soon find out in the cards I might have to do a second reading to find that out but as the relationship went on uh, there was no more joy in it because this is the card of celebration. This is the card of joy. Um, you see the maidens dancing around celebrating something. Okay, in the reverse, it means the total opposite. They're not no longer celebrating their union. Okay, they're not celebrating their love, their union. 
or at least one person isn't okay um again in the reverse this could lead to poor decisions due to arguments okay this could lead to sorrow and pain gossip i'm hearing a lot of gossip okay this could be gossip again about someone cheating someone lying um these cards suggest that there needs to be a new plan developed to control these unruly emotions um i feel like one wanted to apologize to the other or maybe one did apologize to the other about something that went on between them something that happened um I'm feeling that someone showed an excessive amount of aggression towards the other one, um, could not control their feelings during an argument or during a talk about the gossip that came up. Um, I'm feeling that the gossip was about cheating. I keep hearing it was about cheating. Okay, so let's move on. This is very interesting. Okay, so now here we have the ten of swords in the in the reverse so in the upright it means you know end of a karmic cycle um there's no more life left in this situation in this relationship in this movement forward in love or whatever they were entangled up with there's no more movement in it so it comes to a halt an end okay you see how black the sky is and this person was in deep thought but in the far off distance there's yellow meaning and there might be a brand new day coming but it's in the reverse for them okay so that means it totally totally ended their relationship ended due to um maybe indiscretions arguments um yeah i'm hearing i'm hearing a uh, loss I'm hearing some kind of loss of uh, love, loss of emotions. I'm, I'm hearing someone brought up the word divorce, um, but the final conclusion has come. The final conclusion has come. Um, I do feel like this person wants to put their these feelings behind them. They want to forget this. They want to want this to end. Okay. Now here's the twist, okay? This is what I'm getting from my spirit guides. Now, this is from the cards and from spirit guides. This is not my own personal feelings. And I have to say the word allegedly because this is YouTube and I don't wanna get in trouble for saying anything that, the, that, that I say, but this is strictly coming from spirit guides and my cards and not from me. I feel like this was a setup I feel like she was set up by a family member, most likely the husband. I feel like he thought she was cheating or she really was cheating. They had an argument and I feel like someone was hired to murder her. I feel like that person was waiting for her in the church. I feel like that person had the um, a, a costume on, some type of costume on. Um, yeah, this person was a person that was that killed her wasn't it is a male it's a male person that killed her um i'm, I'm hearing i'm hearing the word dopey floppy maybe heavy set but this person was waiting on her to come i feel like this person was watching her on social media because next we have the um page of swords which is someone a third party watching you on social media i feel like this person was hired to watch her on social media um yeah and whoever hired this person was extremely angry you see the face of the page very angry there's a message just coming in telling the third party to watch her see what she's up to where she's gonna be at that time of her murder so they were watching her on social media checking to see where she was going to be at so they can go and murder her okay in the reverse it fell for her in the reverse because truths were starting to come out okay things uh this is a, okay this is the car i get so many messages coming in it's hard to get them all in my head okay so 
when it's in the reverse, it has a lot to do with information. So there was a lot, of, at the time of her death, there was a lot of information swirling around about it. It could have been the husband or or maybe some of his family members or a stranger or maybe somebody that broke in the church or something like that. But this is a strange twist that's coming in. Okay, what is that strange twist? Okay, so the so the husband... Now, someone did tell me that the husband had, a, had an alibi. I don't know where he was at or what he was doing, but the husband had an alibi. That doesn't mean he didn't hire someone to kill her. Okay, because this is the card of third parties. I feel like, not me, not my own personal feelings, and this is alleged, y'all, alleged. I feel like the cards are telling me, the spirit guys are telling me that he hired someone to get rid of her because of his jealous feelings, because of loss of love. There was a lot of loss of love here. The relationship did not work anymore due to gossip of um, cheating or some type of gossip that was going on. And he was very, very angry. He lost his feelings. He lost his love. He pretty much went crazy with this kind of information in his head which led him to hire someone or find someone to spy on her and do away with her. This is alleged, doesn't mean it's happened, doesn't mean that it's true. I have to use the word alleged many, many times, but I feel like my cards are never wrong, okay? So I do feel like this person that killed her was hired. I feel like the husband had an alibi. Um, so, in the end, I feel like he he is thinking, or whoever was involved is thinking that they made a bad decision. Okay, so here is the two of swords in the upright, meaning victory. The hand of the universe is coming out, showing victory, but this is a sword. Swords always cut. Okay, this is the, du excuse me, the double-edged sword. I'm getting the hiccups, y'all. Um, double-edged sword here meaning good and bad okay but for them it fell in the reverse why did it fall in the reverse that means that they had no victory even though he did what he did and made her lose her life there was still no victory in the situation because now it's left hanging and he is forever tortured with these thoughts I'm hearing he is forever tortured with these thoughts and fear sorry all my hand is shaking um, that um, eventually the truth is going to come out because with the page right next to it the truth always comes out it might take a few years or you know whatever but the truth always comes out when the page is in the reverse okay it's just a matter of time i know it's been a few years um but the truth will come out this this card literally speaks of um a great truth coming Okay, and I feel like the person that hired the other person to kill her knows this. They they fear this. They fear truth coming out, and eventually it will. You cannot hide anything from God, okay? I'm going to say that. You can't hide anything. It might take years for it to come out because God does things in his own time, but the truth always comes out. I feel like he has built enough karma for him to be punished for this whether he's punished in privately that we never see it or punished in public where we do see it eventually he will get punished because that's how karma works karma always comes back to get you and i do feel like it's going to come back and get him now again this is alleged there has not been anywhere on the news or anything that i know of that has proven um that he did it or that you know, whoever did it. I don't think this case, um, from what I heard from my subscribers, it's a case that's unsolved. But I know here with my cards who did it. I'm, I'm telling you right now uh, what I know is true from my spirit guides, from my cards, what my spirit guides are telling me, what this is leading me to believe. Again, I've been a tarot card a psychic reader for 30 plus years. I've never been wrong. I don't care what anybody else says. I've never been wrong. Truth will come out eventually. It might take another five years or whatever, but truths come out. Or something will bad will happen to that person because it usually does because karma comes back around and gives you the same that you did to someone else three times fold. All right? So that is what really happened to Missy Beavers, allegedly from my cards and spirit guides. 
Thanks for watching, y'all. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. To subscribe, give me a big thumbs up, y'all. It helps my channel. Comment, it helps my channel. And request whatever you want me to read next. Also, if you want a personal reading, contact me with the information down below. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.